G'day YouTube, Max right here, and we are looking at this Bitcoin breakdown right here. Uh, we have looked like we've, we've got a little bit of a recovery coming here, but the question is, are we gonna lay over and head down further, or is this the end of it and we're off to the races? We're gonna take a look at that question now, and most importantly, by the end of this video, you'll know if we do go down, how low will we go and where should we be snapping up Bitcoin as best and as fast as we possibly can? You'll know that before the end of this video. Before I get started, let me know in the comments below, do you think this, uh, this downward movement is over and we're heading back north from here or are we gonna lay down and keep going further? Let me know in the comments right now and let's see if this video changes your mind in any way, shape or form. Okay, so let's take a look at this here. We, uh, we went down, we broke down from 35 and we went all the way down, we wicked down to uh, 29,000. Now, there was a little bit of play here. If you look over here, this, um, this little area here, let me get rid of that line. This area here, um, you know, Bitcoin had a little bit of a resistance here and then when it broke through, it shot up significantly, turned around, came back to this kind of area, retested that as support and went off. So for that reason, I actually did make some purchases here, but it was not Bitcoin. But I used the Bitcoin chart to decide, just from my portfolio management and a few other bits and pieces, which I will get to in this video. I actually bought some altcoins down here, which turned out well because they are crushing this morning. So um, yeah, that, that, that's what I thought. But the question is, is this move over? Well, let me draw your attention to a few different uh, bits and pieces here. So one way of... Um, measuring where we should go from this failed symmetrical triangle or this breakdown i should say of the symmetrical triangle is to measure the size of the opening and then you take that to the point of the breakout and that's how far we go down and if you look i've actually put this yellow line here already for you it's a 22,500. Right, traditional symmetrical triangle analysis would suggest we would head down to 22,500. Okay, this is on the hourly chart. Let's go and check out the daily chart and let's just see what we can see. So let's get in here. Okay. And we can see that now that we're on the daily chart, there was a little bit of resistance up here at 32, but we kind of crashed through that very briskly. Um, we, we mentioned the one here at 28, 29, there's a little bit, but if you look, the big stuff right here is around this area, 22 to $24,000. This is where the big point of support is. This is much more significant. So we're on the daily chart. So this spent, you know, about eight days in here. We spent a couple days here, three days here, right? And so the big level of support is actually closer to here in the 22 to 24 range. So we get a little bit of confluence. We get a little bit of congruence with this argument that we're going down to around 22,500. Okay. Now let's go have a look at the weekly and see what we can see. And what's most important here, um, what jumps out is we got the all-time high resistance uh, at 20,000, which is significant. On the weekly, it doesn't look like this was much of anything over here, right? There's 22,000 mark. But what's most interesting here is the 21-week moving average. You can see it, this purple line right here. Very, very important indicator in the world of Bitcoin. And we can see its trajectory. And if we just you know, map that out just a little bit, we'll see that you can look how fat these candles are in one, two weeks time, we're gonna be at this 22,500 mark, okay? And that may be even, I'm a little, I'm a little steep there. Probably need to, maybe even a third week, maybe even a third week. But uh, we do get ourselves up to, and that this traditionally in a bull market, this level of uh, the 21 week moving average is the floor. And by the way, just so I'm clear, I still think we are very much in a bull market. Remember 2013, we in the middle of the bull market, that year it went up 100X. In that year, the price dropped 85% in between April and June. So that's what happens in these times. It's a crazy time, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crazy ups and downs, but we're just looking to uh, get involved in it at a good price and see what we can do. So that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing an enormous amount of confluence happening here uh, because let's, you know, let's say the price does break down from here and head on down. It might take a couple of weeks to do so and we head on down to this 22,000 mark. There's gonna be an enormous amount of confluence around that 22,000. In my opinion, 
I'm not even I'm not sure we're even going to do that because there is an enormous amount of strength in Bitcoin at the moment. But uh, if we break down to me, that is the floor somewhere in this twenty two thousand dollar range. Me, twenty four thousand, twenty four thousand five hundred. That's when I'm loading up because I don't want to miss out. Maybe it doesn't get all the way down there. And so I would be loading up around twenty four, twenty five. If you see it at twenty four, twenty five. I'm going to be jumping on board uh, big time with Bitcoin. It's not to say it can't go lower, but that to me is an outstanding, outstanding price to be able to get Bitcoin at this time. All right. Let me knock that out of there because that's not particularly relevant anymore. And But next I want to talk about, okay, so what will I be loading on? What did I load up on? Let's go back to the hourly here. What did I load up on uh, when Bitcoin crashed down here? And it got so close. There was, as I mentioned, let's... Uh, Zoom out here. As I mentioned, um, yeah, at, there was this little bit of a price point where once it broke, it exploded. When it came back and retested and then took off. For that reason, I saw that little bit of an area and I made some purchases here at 28, right? You can see this area here. I might even make some purchases around 26, 27. And but the big one, there won't be anything left in the reserves if we get down to 24,000. At 24,000, all my cash is in Bitcoin, right? So what, what did I buy uh, and, and why did I buy it? Well, the answer is in the Bitcoin dominance chart. So let's take a look at this. And here is that descending triangle I drew for you a few weeks ago on the, on the Bitcoin uh, dominance chart. And I, I drew this for you here. And I said, listen, I think if, if we break down, we're going to see this come down to this, this mark here and test it. And uh, the, the altcoins are going to outperform Bitcoin significantly as Bitcoin dominance breaks down. We don't need that anymore. Let's knock that out. And actually, let's trans let's put this on the daily because now we get into our larger time frames. So here is the daily on the Bitcoin dominance chart. And you can see for the longest time, we're in this downward channel. I mean, we're talking years. This is, it starts over here. Well, we peak over here at 73 in September, 2019. Okay, so this is 18 months worth of data just in this channel. And this is the channel, this is the trajectory that it wanted to be in. We had this huge run up in Bitcoin. We spiked out of there and now we came down and tested. How are we gonna interact with this support line? Are we gonna bounce off it and head on up? Or we're going to crash through it. Now, I always want, I always factor into my uh, decision making. What's the most, well, if it does one thing, well, I wait for confirmation. But if it does one thing, uh, then what, what's, what's the bigger outcome? And if we bounce off here, I, I don't know, we, could we go all the way up here and double top? We could go up here and set a lower high. We could do a lot of different things. I don't know. But if we break through here, yeah, it's true. At any point we can turn back around. But if we break through here, I think the most likely thing is we're going to come all the way back down here to a Bitcoin dominance somewhere around the 50s, right? We're at 64% now down here at the 50s. What does that mean? Altcoin season, baby. Altcoin season. Now, in addition to that, my personal portfolio is very heavy in Bitcoin. So I'm looking to acquire in the altcoin space. Okay, just to balance that out a little bit. Uh, and I want more exposure to the altcoin world. But one of the reasons I want exposure to the altcoin world is the potential for this move. So actually, I because of my the imbalance of my portfolio, I actually didn't need to wait uh, until I got all the way down here, right? But I just I it, maybe it bounces off here and comes back up. But I think at some point over the next year, we do head on down to to, to um, the Bitcoin dominance somewhere down here and retest this line. So you add all that up, and it's like okay, I'm not really interested in acquiring Bitcoin right now. That's me. A large part of that is me and my personal positioning, because I'm like over 95% Bitcoin. So I do want to come, so I wanted more exposure to uh, altcoins. Only question is where is the good point to do it? And as we broke through that descending triangle, that was a good one for me. And now that the Bitcoin price has come back down, that was another, that Bitcoin at 28,000 dragged everything else down. That was another really good price point for me. Uh, and now we've gone back. But now what I'm hoping because Bitcoin is leading the charge here. What was very interesting and very telling, by the way, yesterday, when Bitcoin came down, the altcoins came down even more, but only by a little bit. And you can see this morning, we've got, let's take a look. Bitcoin's up 5%, uh, but Ethereum's up 11%. Link is up 20%. Um, they, where are we? Uh, XTZ's up 60%. 
uh, uh, where's dot, dot, dots up 10%. So this morning, all of the alts, all the major alts are outperforming in Bitcoin. They, they um, what's the word? When we broke down yesterday, they broke down a little bit more than Bitcoin, but not by much, not by much. On the way up, they're massively outperforming Bitcoin, double, double percentage. So again, more evidence that we're in altcoin season. And so I'm using the Bitcoin price and I'm hoping Bitcoin remains here a little bit flexible. And I hope, I'm not saying it's likely, I'm not saying it's likely at all, but I really, really hope we see Bitcoin break down even more. And if Bitcoin does break down to either this 26 level or hopefully this 22 level, if that, that evidence is the same, that the, bit, the altcoins broke down maybe 20, 30% more than Bitcoin, that is just beautiful. That's beautiful. I will be loading up on altcoins like crazy because when the, alt, when the altcoins break down only a little bit more than Bitcoin, this is what usually happens. When it bounces back, the altcoins come back 10x. Because right now, I believe we, the altcoin season is on. It, it, altcoin season is on. And what that means is when Bitcoin goes down, altcoins go down by less. When Bitcoin turns around and goes back up, the altcoins just massively overperform. So I'm looking for more exposure to altcoins, but I'm using the Bitcoin price to help dictate that for me. I got a little bit in the other day, but I want to get in a lot more. Hopefully Bitcoin gives me another chance with this other breakdown. Let's go back to the hourly on Bitcoin. Oh, by the way, I'm, you want to know what I'm um, acquiring? Uh, it is ETH, it is LINK, it is uh, um, uh, DOT, and it is Cardano. That's what I'm grabbing, by the way, just so you know. Let's, uh, I want to go back to Bitcoin hourly. And one last thing before sign off. By the way, before we do this, let me know in the comments below. Now that you've seen the evidence in the charts, and I've only made the case of talking about that downward level, what do you think the chances are that Bitcoin gets down to that $22,000, $24,000? Give me a percentage. Is it a 10% chance, 50% chance, 90% chance? Give me a percentage about what you think Bitcoin, uh, the chances Bitcoin will go down there. And if it does get down there, let me know what are you going to do? Do you think it'll go lower? You're going to be stocking up on Bitcoin and altcoins right then. Let me know what you're going to be doing down there if we are lucky enough that Bitcoin goes all the way down to 22, 24. If you've got in in the last couple of months and if it gets down there and you're nervous and you're, oh my God, Bitcoin's it's at a loss, whatever you do, don't sell. Don't sell. If you got in up here, do not sell your Bitcoin down here as it comes down to retest because that's what it does. It comes down and retests pre, what was previous resistance, right? And previous support, it comes down and tests it and then turns around and then rockets off. And we're going to, uh, I'm very, very bullish in the mid to long term. Four months, six months, 12 months, Bitcoin's going to be looking very, very good. Very, very good. Don't, uh, don't fear sell down here if you were one of the people who got in up here you got in at a bad time, it will have turned out, but that's okay. It'll turn around on you very, very quickly. Don't sell. You want to be in for this right up. Okay, guys, do me a favor. If you like this kind of content, like this channel, hit the, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in the very next video. Take care.